Hello everybody. So I have a video today for testing the RAM on your computer if you suspect that you are having issues with your RAM cards. So first things first, you'll either need to be able to boot into your computer completely to complete these steps or at least be able to have the computer boot into BIOS. This test is done outside of your computer's OS so uh, you should be able to test this by booting to either a bootable USB or bootable disk, uh, which I'll show you how to do in this video. And the reason why you need to be able to boot to your desktop is because you'll need to complete these steps in order to create the tool used to um, test your RAM. If you can't, but you can still at least get past the BIOS on your computer, then you can complete these steps on another computer if you have one available to uh, get the, the bootable media to test with. Um, so first things first, you'll want to go to memtest86.com, which I'll have a link for in the description. And then additionally, I do recommend having WinRAR. Um, as you can see, there's both x86 and x64, as well as Pi Power ISO if you're going to be creating a bootable disk. So another thing to note is that memtest86 works on both x86 and 64-bit OS's and it also will work with DDR4 as well as DDR2 and DDR3 RAM and you can also use it with both Windows and Linux uh, computers so uh, once you have selected download now it'll load up this page here which you can see there is an option to download both a bootable USB drive tool as well as a bootable CD ISO um, <clears throat> I already have these both downloaded. They're pretty small, so it doesn't take a long time. But basically, once it's downloaded, you'll have um, these two packages or w whatever package you're going to use. If you're going to use the USB, you'll have the USB package. If you're going to use ISO, you'll have the ISO package. In either case, you'll need to complete the following. Uh, I'm going to use WinRAR, so you can do extract to memtest86-USB which I already have a copy of this on my desktop, so we'll overwrite it. Uh, I'm going to go through the USB steps primarily because with uh, modern technology, I guess that's, that's what most people are likely going to do. Um, so once you've extracted it, you'll have these files here. What you'll actually want to do next is select the image USB and then so you should see well first you'll have to plug in a USB to use and then um, you'll select that USB from the list here so once you've done that you can select browse if the image is not already selected which it should be um, you'll browse to the package you have so I have my memtest86-USB folder on my desktop and I will select the memtest86-USB image <clears throat> and then we'll select yes one for write to UFD as you can see it's gonna wipe out anything that's already on this USB so if you do have anything important on there I suggest you copy it off beforehand So one more thing to note while this is writing to USB, um, as you can see from the tool, this is actually Memtest 86 version 7.2. So if your computer has a UEFI BIOS, so that's like when you, when you have uh, the option to use a mouse and it's got tabs and stuff to click on, um, it'll load memtest version 7.2 which looks like this and uh, because I'm going to be doing this test in a VM which does not have a UEFI BIOS it's going to load version 4.2 I believe so this package will actually work for both computers that either have a UEFI BIOS or if you don't um, the test is the same it's just the interface is a little bit different so because I can't show you the 7.2 
interface in this video. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is, as you can see from this screen here, select S to start test, and then that's it. Um, it'll, it'll show you the same thing that you'll see in this video. So the tool actually completed, so we now have a bootable USB. If you're going to be using a disk, what you can then do is open up Power ISO, select Add, navigate to the ISO extracted folder, and all you'll have is this. You can select Add, and then select Burn from the top here. Once you've loaded a drive into your disk drive, select it should automatically come up actually, and then uh, select Burn. And basically what you'll need to do then is reboot your computer, get into the BIOS. Um, on most computers, it's one of the F keys, it should say actually, uh, or it's delete. Uh, for me, it's either F2 or delete. And then you can select either the USB or the CD. And then basically from there, it should boot right into the tool um, once you've saved your, your changes. Um, what I've done here is I've created a VM with a very small amount of RAM uh, that basically just loads the memtest ISO right away and it'll show you the test. Now the other thing to note is the more RAM you have the longer this test is going to take. When I did my test I have 32 gigs of RAM in my computer and after almost 11 hours it wasn't even done doing two passes. So I, I stopped the test because after 11 hours it found zero faults. I think that's safe to say that it's my RAM's okay. Um, now you can run this for longer if, if you're willing to. Um, I believe the 7.2 version will do four passes and then I think it stops. Whereas the, four, the, the older version, the version you'll see here, I'm pretty sure you have to manually stop it because it'll just infinitely run. So to give you an idea of what you'll see, we'll power on this machine here. As I said, you'll have to get into your BIOS and select the, the, the boot USB or the ISO. Um, <clears throat> and then for people with the UEFI BIOS, you'll see that menu where you can select start. Um, for people without a UEFI, you'll see what we just saw there and it'll automatically start doing the test. So. Um, basically this is what you'll see and it'll run um, at least with this version for as long as you let it run it is recommended that uh, you let it run for as long as you can basically deal with um, I ran mine a little bit before I went to bed basically and then overnight and then stopped it when I got up in the morning um, as you can see it'll tell you the amount of passes it's done and whether or not it's found errors I haven't actually been able to get errors to come up so I'm not entirely too sure whether it tells you which RAM card it found faulty or if it just simply tells you that it found a problem. Um, if you don't find a problem then you can move on to troubleshooting other things if your computer is having issues. If you do have, find a problem then you know that you need to replace your RAM. I hope this video is helpful for you and thanks for watching.